All right, here we go. So this one's a monomial denominator, but it still has an I, and that's no good. Okay, so we're going to need to... We're not going to be multiplying by a conjugate here. So how can we get rid of that I? It's multiplied by I. Very good. So from this expression, if I multiplied the denominator by I and the numerator, which I will need in parentheses, I'm going to multiply it by I as well. So what this does is it gives us, let's distribute this I. So I have a 6I minus 12I, which now is multiplied by another I, making that I squared. And then in the denominator, we've got this 20. And again, I've got I times I, which makes that an I squared as well. So simplifying this a little bit further, I've still got 6i, but now I've got minus 12, and that i squared is going to become a negative 1. And this is all over 20 times that i squared, which also becomes a negative 1. So this would be 6i. Now I've got plus 12 all over a negative 20. So... <clears throat> I can rearrange this to be 6i because I have that common denominator over negative 20 and then plus 12 over negative 20. Now we'll have to use that commutative property to rearrange this so that it's in a plus bi form. But before I do that, I'm going to simplify these. So the 6 and the 20, I can divide both these by 2. And this 20 by 2 as well. This 12 and this 20 are divisible by 4 each. So that would give me uh, 3i over negative 10 plus 3 over 5. So, oh, that's a negative 5, sorry. So rearranging this, I would have a... <coughs> three-fifths, which I can just make negative. And if I make this minus 3i over 10, that would take care of that other negative as well. And now it is in the form a plus bi. I mean, if you wanted to put a plus there, that's fine. I'm not going to, though, because I think this is pretty.